All of us are geniuses with God-like manifesting power, yet most of us have just not been educated how to use it. In fact, most of us use this God-like manifesting power to create more of what we've always had. It's fascinating to me that somehow in this chaotic something, we we collapse our life into a hyper-stable repeat pattern of what we've already experienced. And we do this with such precision. You watch people stay in the exact same experience. They just change the characters. They just change the environment, but they continually find the next relationship that doesn't work or or the next business that doesn't allow them to finally make the money. Or they, they're constantly feeling like someone else has the power in their life, whether it's a boss or a parent or a, a co-worker. Someone else just won't ever let them have the life they want. We And we manifest it. We create it. See, our power has been used incorrectly, but, but that doesn't mean we don't have the power. This power is within all of us. We continually just use it to create the same thing over and over again. And this is because we haven't been educated. This godlike power, the creative essence that you are, is so creative and so focused, however, you just don't have it turned on. And most of us don't have it turned on and most of us don't know how to use it. So the only way that we know how to, to use it is unconsciously. See, there's there's two ways that you can be using this power. One is unconsciously and that leaves you down the unconscious path. The unconscious path is based on a wound. It's based on how you feel incomplete or there's something that you need to finally be able to have life the way you want it. That's one, and that's most of the world. The other path is the superconscious path. This is where you focus on what you'd love to create. So there are three elements in, in both paths. There are three, and one of them is shared in both of these paths. So the first element is a current reality. So both paths start out with a current reality. Now, the next thing is in the superconscious path, the end result is something you would love to create. And that's where the consciousness is focused. On the unconscious path is a wound uh, or a trauma or a pain that the consciousness is trying to avoid. Okay, so there's something we're trying to avoid, you know, but fear of failure, being broke, being rejected, being humiliated. This is on the unconscious path. So that's what's on each one. Now, leading towards each one is an action. On the superconscious path, the action is creative. It's inventive. It's intuitive. See, in the superconscious path, you hold your focus on what it is you want to create. There's a void. There's a gap between what you want to create and where you are now. Like you want to create a healthy and happy body and you're currently not there. Or you want to create more money. You currently don't have it. You want this house or you want this relationship or you want this business. And there's a gap. And then there's an action that leads to it. On the unconscious path, there's a wound. And the action is is to ensure that that wound doesn't come true. Whether that wound is a fear of failure, uh, whether it's uh, that you're not good enough, that you don't belong, fear of rejection, humiliation, and that's what it is. We are God-like manifestors. We have this power within us. How you focus this consciousness determines whether you're focused on creating what you love or you're focused on avoiding a wound in your life but it doesn't mean you're not the godlike manifesting power that you are. You might ask, how is it that we end up this way? That how we end up this way is that we go on a journey of learning. And this journey of learning is a learning to figure out how it is. We want to know how it is. As we come in as a creative consciousness, we're trying to figure out how it is. How is it? And I covered that actually in my book, You're Not Broken. And it's it's in the superconscious journey. When you go into this and understand how we've done this, it's very, very, very profound. So let me just quickly grab uh, the page here because uh, it just occurred to me that um, that you guys could quickly just have a look at this. So it's, uh, it's actually the very first uh, chapter, The Journey to Creating a Life You Love. And it has this image here, okay? And this image here, A Journey to Create a Life You Love. What, what you'll see is that we all start out as a pure creative energy and we become an individual. 
And this individual, you know, has an expectancy of around about 100 years uh, in, this, in this body. As we're coming in, we don't know how it is. We don't know how to be. And we're seeking belonging. We're seeking safety. But we're wanting to know how it is here. So we look to our parents. We look to society. We wonder, how do I fit in? And as we're looking to fit in, we're seeking validation. We're seeking that we're, we're valid, that we're safe, and that we belong. And, and what happens is, is as we're seeking this validation, we come to the conclusion that we must do something we must be something in order to be validated and to get our needs met. And as we make this decision, it's a decision that orients us to the world. The decision is based on a feeling that we don't just get it all without having to do something. And this creates the wound. See, if you must do something to be worthy, then you're not inherently worthy. If you must do something to be better, then you're not perfect. You're not good the way you, if you must see that. So as soon as you see this action that there's something you must do to be able to have what you want, the other side of that creates this wound. That is what leads to the unconscious path. You'll see that that, that shows on the very next point here that this actually creates a life of oscillation. And most people lead this life of oscillation. They have short-term success and then they find themselves back to where they started. And even if they're able to move forward in life, they have the same feeling. So maybe, you know, maybe they make more money and then they, they buy a house, they still don't feel like they have enough. Maybe they, they get a relationship with the love of their life, but they still don't feel that they, they're allowed to feel loved or love someone else. And, and as they move through, they keep having this feeling following them. And this experience follows them. And that's not what creators do. See, what creators do is they integrate their shadow, integrate their dark side. And as they integrate their dark side, they actually integrate into their full being and they stop seeing themselves as something to, uh, as a problem to solve. And that's why I called the book, You're Not Broken, is that, that, that when you become, uh, when you live the super conscious path, you're not trying to heal the wound. You're not trying to fix it. You just let it be. You just let it be. And, and as it says, you integrate all the genius that's actually in that wound. And there's a lot. And as you integrate it, you recode all that stopping you. And you move through to step seven here, which is to use your insight to make choices that you love. And as you step onto that, now you're on the super conscious path. You recode your resistance and you create what you love. And so we are these godlike manifestors. We are. We really are. Everything that you see uh, around you that's, that's in this world was once thought up in the mind of a human. From uh, the video software that I'm recording on to, to the internet to the computer that's uh, going to send this to you to everything. It was all made up. It was all invented in the mind, the mind of humans. And so we have this, this genius, but most people don't realize that that genius is actually what's creating the chaos in their life because they haven't learned how to turn it on to what they want. When you learn to turn it on to what you want, you're going to be faced with all sorts of resistance and you, you must learn to recode this. But if you can stay focused on it, you can create a life you love. You can create a healthy and happy body. You can create your truest purpose. You really can. And, and it's there. It's really there and you, you can integrate that shadow and receive all of the gifts because I want you to hear this is that you do have that power within you. If you can understand three things, one, the structure of creating, two, intuition, and three, how to recode resistance, you can have it all. You really can. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already got the book, I'd highly recommend that you give this book a read. Uh, you know, it sold millions of copies and they, you know, there's something really special about it. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.